all right, I want to make sure that we're all on the same page about something, right? So I get a lot of comments from a lot of guys that don't want to dress better because they think that that's uncomfortable. And I thought about this a lot, right? Because it just doesn't make sense to me. I guess I don't see the connection. So how does dressing better and wearing more stylish clothes mean that you have to sacrifice comfort? Because that's just not true. So again, for me anyway, um, I guess my base style or what I generally run with on a daily basis could be called something like polished casual. I don't wear sports coats that much. I don't wear suits all that much, but I also don't wear t-shirts, sweatpants, hoodies, and flip-flops either. I like my blue jeans just as much as the next guy, and I prefer sneakers over dress shoes. But with that said, you could still categorize me as being stylish and dressing very well. And I can tell you guys without any reservation that if what I wore on a daily basis was uncomfortable at all, I wouldn't wear it. So stay with me because I'm gonna cover all of this in just a minute, but I think a lot of it comes down to fit and fabrics. Finding the right fit is one of the most critical, if not the most critical element when it comes to dressing well and staying comfortable. Because clothing that's too tight is gonna restrict your movement and that's gonna cause discomfort. But on the flip side, super loose pieces not only look really sloppy, but they kind of fall off your body and you always have to adjust everything so your pants don't fall down or you won't trip over your pant legs. Now, yes, I also understand that some oversized clothing can be pretty comfortable, but I would also argue that clothing that fits your body the way that it's supposed to is every bit as comfortable, if not even more comfortable. And I also understand that right now that oversized and relaxed fits are sort of trending, but 99% of the guys don't look good wearing it. And at least, at least from what I have seen, Tim DeSaint and maybe like five or six other dudes on the planet look good wearing that style. Tim always looks amazing, but everyone else just looks a bit off. Now, something else to think about is prioritizing quality fabrics. Natural materials like cotton, bamboo, linen, silk, and wool. Now, that's all really breathable and adapts well to body temperature fluctuations that gives you comfort all day long. And blended fabrics that incorporate those natural fibers but with modern synthetics can also offer a lot of stretch and durability without compromising comfort. Okay, for example, right, cotton blends that combine the soft feel of cotton but with the flexibility and stretch of elastine or spandex, that's going to make your clothing more comfortable, a lot easier to move around in all day long, and also flattering on your body. And the same rules apply to even your underwear. And it's crazy because the underwear market and fabric technology has exploded recently, and there are so many choices out there for underwear, it can make your head spin. Now, let me try to make things a lot easier for you. Just get these trunks from today's sponsor, Silk Cut. Now, let me get real with you guys for just a second. If you watch other men's lifestyle channels on YouTube, I'm sure you've heard a lot about those other underwear brands that have pouches and sleeves for all of your junk. And I've been approached by pretty much all of these brands and I've said no to every single one and here's why. Now, <laughs> there's, there's no good way for me to say this without sounding like a complete douchebag. So please keep that in mind and also keep in mind that we're all adults here and we should be able to say the truth and be real with each other because at this age we've earned at least that much. So here's the thing. Women, some women have larger breasts and some women have smaller ones. Some guys have bigger wieners and some guys have smaller ones. It just is what it is and you're born with it. Now again, not to be douchey because it just is what it is, but for me, I'm what you would call above average and I simply can't wear some of those underwear with all of the little pouches, right? So for example, this one right here. Now, I'm not saying these are bad underwear by any means because I'm sure a lot of people really like them, but for me, right, so you put your balls in the little pouch and then you're supposed to put your wiener through the little hole and I guess, it's a great design in theory, but when I put mine through the hole, it comes out the other side because it's just wide open in the front. And I'm not even sure why they do that, but that's what they did. And again, to be perfectly clear, I'm not talking badly about any of these other brands, but if it's uncomfortable for me to wear, why would I come on here and make a video promoting it to you guys? So let's bring this all the way back to this brand, Silk Cut. I absolutely love this underwear. And again, I'm very picky when it comes to underwear. 
And trunks are by far my favorite style because I don't like the long boxer briefs that always seem to ride up my legs. I also don't like it when underwear isn't designed properly and it ends up giving you a wedgie. So now you're running around all day pulling the underwear out of your butt crack. Now look, not to make this any more weird than it probably already is, but wearing these almost feels like you're not wearing anything at all. They're designed right from the start for extreme comfort and a sleek seam free design. They're made with bonded waistbands and leg openings so it gives you a seamless look underneath your pants. You get the perfect balance of support and room right where you need it the most and this luxurious silk pouch liner adds an extra touch of style. They're made from a blend of micromodal and spandex and they provide comfort, stretch, and durability all day long. And I'm telling you guys, this level of softness and breathability is nothing short of pure luxury. And to sweeten this deal for you, they're giving all of you guys an amazing limited time offer of 50%. That's 50% off your entire order when you use my code. The special link with my discount code is gonna be down below in the description. And once again, you guys, you can get 50% off your entire order for a limited time. Thank you Silk Cut for supporting my channel and for sponsoring today's video. All right, now let's talk about shoes for just a minute because what you wear on your feet is obviously a really important aspect of any outfit. And picking the right shoes or footwear makes a big difference in your overall comfort and style. Now, I do know that a lot of you guys have wider feet or even some narrow feet, and sometimes you have a hard time finding the size that you need, but chances are there are stylish options out there for you in your size, but just like anything else, you've gotta do a little bit of legwork to find them. But another really important part of your footwear choice is adequate support and cushioning. Now, loafers and sneakers generally provide both of those benefits. But yes, of course, your running shoes might give you the most comfort and the most arch support, but the trade-off is style because for the record, while running shoes are pretty stylish for running shoes, that's where it ends. Exercise footwear is just not stylish in any environment other than exercise environments. So, I would look for streamlined leather sneakers with a clean, minimal design with really no visual branding or at least a very small, tiny logo. So if you need some insoles for your specific foot issue, absolutely 100% get some because then you get the best of both worlds, comfort and style. Now something else to consider and think about is an effective layering strategy for staying comfortable and stylish when the temperature changes during the day into the evening. So lightweight, breathable layers are gonna give you flexibility for easy adjustments throughout the entire day. For example, a soft cotton or merino wool sweater under a lightweight jacket keeps you warm without adding a lot of bulk. And the jacket and the sweater can also be removed if the temperature goes up. But if you're out all day and now it's evening and getting colder, you put those pieces right back on. And another thing to consider is having enough versatile pieces in your wardrobe that can be dressed up and dressed down because that helps you stay comfortable and at the same time look stylish. For example, so think about a blazer and jeans outfit combination. So maybe you think a blazer can't be comfortable, but if you saw my video just a few days ago where I showed you that new Maverick blazer, that thing is incredibly comfortable because it's made with performance stretch material. So pair that up with a well-fitted pair of denim that also has stretch built in and then throw on a classic white shirt and you, my friend, are ready for a full day in the office or an evening out. Once again though, man, pay attention to the fit, the fabrics and the colors. That way you're investing in timeless, multifunctional pieces that can also reduce the need for having a large wardrobe because everything in that manner can pretty much go with everything else. And really quick before you guys take off, if you're new here, please consider subscribing because I would love to have you part of this Legends family. And with that, my friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I will see you in the next one.